Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I'm here today with another order to share with you from the company Biggest Craft. Um, they are a seller of cross stitch kits. So I have some more of the stamped cross stitch kits to show you. So let's just get right into it and see what we've got. Now, some of these kits are pre-stamped, but some of them are not. Some of them are counted cross stitch. So we'll just get into this first one. And this is the image and what it's going to look like. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. It's like a Halloween wreath. It's so awesome with the broomstick at the bottom. Love, love, love it. And the witch hat on top. This is going to be a really fun one to stitch. So uh, it's going to be fun, but it is going to be a lot of color changes. This thing has 45 colors. That is a lot of colors. It is a 40 by 40 centimeter. Um, and so it's kind of a perfect size, not too big, but not too small. Um, but 45 is a lot of colors. And there is some back stitching in this, not an obnoxious amount, but you do have some back stitching around some of the objects in it. And I know, and then you've got um, an instruction guide that shows you what to do, how to separate your flosses, um, and how to do your stitches in case you're not sure of that. And then you have your fabric. Uh, your fabric is just the plain white Ada. Um, it looks like it's a 14 count. I'm fairly, count. yeah, that's 14 count Ada. So, and then you have your little kit. Your kit includes two needles. So you have a couple needles just in case you break one, you have a backup and a couple of marking pens for your fabric for you to mark where your stitches are gonna go. Or if you want to draw a grid on your fabric, you can do that if that makes it easier for you to count. You can use this pen to draw uh, the grid on and then this ink is uh, removable, it's uh, washable. So after you're finished with your project, you can wash this off and you won't have any residue left on it. So it's nice that they give you two of those. And then you have your floss. So 45 different colors, you're gonna have a lot of good variation in your colors, um, in your objects. So here are all of your colors. They're very nice um, pre-sorted strands. So these come in six strand or six, uh, yeah, six strands per thing. So you separate out for 14 count, you'll use two strands. So you'll step, separate those from your, um, from your skein, 45 of them. And that is what those look like. So this is gonna be a really fun one to complete. I don't know, it's October 1st as I'm recording this. I don't know if I would get a chance to get it completed before the holiday this year. It would be nice if I could because this is a really cute one uh, for Halloween. If I really, really put my nose to the grindstone, I probably could do it. But I've got so much other stuff going. I might still give it a try. I've got the retreat coming up next week. It might be a good opportunity for me to be able to sit and work on some different projects other than my Christmas gifts that I've been working hard at. Uh, for the past little bit. So I might be able to work on that one a little bit. All right, next we have, oh my goodness, there is so much floss in this. This one is a 50 by 50 centimeter kit. And this one looks like it is a stamped kit. And it comes with a little bit more elaborate of a tool kit. But holy floss, look at that huge bag of floss. We're going to get it out and take a look at it in a second. So with this kit, you get uh, about five needles, a thimble, a threader, a bobbin, and a seam ripper. So you get a little bit more of an in-depth little tool kit. Then you have your paper with the pattern on it, 
which you don't really need the pattern because you have your image pre-stamped on your fabric. But I'll show you a picture of what the image is gonna look like. It's really cool. It's a snow globe with a witch or a wizard hat and like a, um, uh, kind of like the Hogwarts castle. So very cool. I love this one a lot. My daughter Emily is really into Hogwarts and Harry Potter. And so I thought this would be a cool one to do for her. So this one looks like it's 11 count Ada. So yes, this is an 11 count kit. So you're gonna use three strands of floss um, with it. It has 36 colors, which is a lot of colors. And it is quite big. It's 191 by 191 stitches, um, which equates, it makes it out to 50 by 50 centimeters. That's counting, you know, from this edge to this edge. That's not going to be what you stitch, you know, is a little bit less than that. But still, it's going to be um, quite, quite big. It's going to be quite a lot of stitching. And there's a lot of nice areas where you can, you know, do the same um, color thread. You won't have to switch too often. But then there are some areas in here where it is a little bit confetti heavy. But that's okay because that's what gives it that nice definition. So let's take a look at our floss and see. This floss looks really, really nice. Not that the other floss didn't, but this floss looks nice and silky. I like a silky soft floss. It tends to um, burr up less when you're working with it. And look at these beautiful, just jewel toned colors. This is so much floss, you guys. But you have to remember that you're using three strands. So that's why you are going to need quite a bit more. So look at those beautiful colors all the jewel tones and um, blues and cream, teal, those, those are so pretty. Very nice, soft floss, silky. So that is the second one that I got. And it is gonna be a fun one to do the, with all these colors. All right, let me just quickly stuff this all back in the bag. Got to keep it together or it'll never find its way back to one another. And then we'll get into the last two kits that I got in this order. Um, if you haven't checked out this company, Biggest Craft is the name. And they have really reasonable prices for their kits. They do sell some Joy Sunday brand kits, which are... Um, kind of a industry, you know, kind of well-known in the industry of free stamp kits. And the, but they do also sell, you know, these other off, I, I guess I'll call them off-brand, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're just as good. So that's the second one. And next we have a Joy Sunday kit. And this is a 14 count kit. And it's uh, part of a Christmas Cottage series that Joy Sunday has. And this one is Christmas Cottage 3. It's a quilt shop. I'm going to be doing this one for a friend of mine who's a quilter. So this one is a counted kit. And it's very small. So this is your piece of Ada. 14 count. And your floss along with two needles and you don't have as much floss because number one it's not a, as big of a kit but also um, you're only using two strands because it is a 14 count but a nice variety of colors Christmassy colors and then you of course have your pattern and it is a color-coded pattern so it makes it nice and easy to um, discern what your symbols are going to be on your on your canvas. And it is a nice big pattern too. I like that about it, that it is really big. So you're not going to uh, have a hard time seeing that. Now you do have some fractional stitches I'm noticing in here. So you will be working with some half stitches, which is not a big deal. All it is is half of a cross stitch. 
Um, and there is some, uh, there is some back stitching in this, not too much, but there is a little bit of back stitching. So that's the third one that I got. And the last one, let me slide this back in. If I can get it. Did I tell you how many colors were in this? I don't think I did. 23 colors. That one has 23 colors, which is a decent amount. All right. This is a nice little portable one, too, that would be nice for traveling. You know, if you had, like, just a small six-inch hoop. You could stitch this in hand, too. You wouldn't even really need a hoop is another from the Christmas Cottage series. It's Christmas Cottage number two, and it's called Apple Farm. It's also a 14 count kit, and I'm assuming that is also going to be counted. Yes. So I'm assuming that they're all gonna be the same size in that Christmas Cottage uh, uh, collection. You have your floss. This one has 23 colors of floss. And those are your colors. Again, just a nice variety of Christmassy type colors. Couple of needles. And your pattern. And you do have some back stitching, half stitching, and a French knot. So uh, French knots are really easy to do. I really love the size of the patterns that they give you on this. Um, but they just make it so nice and easy to read. So those are the four kits that I got from Biggest Craft. Um, I'll link them in the description of the, of the video. If you were going to make a, let's say you'd been working on stamped kits like I always have been and you wanted to make a switch to counted kits, I'd say these Christmas cottage ones would be an excellent way to make that switch just because they are so nice and small and the pattern is so nice and large and clear and easy to read. So these would, plus Enjoy Sunday is a, is a really good brand. So um, I would say that these would be a few, a couple of good kits to use to make that transition if you wanted to give Counted Cross Stitch a try. So if you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Uh, thanks and see you later. Bye guys.